one. Ask the Boss, episode number... 37. 37, we out here. Got it right this time. That Me, one. Doug. Yeah! <laughs> chirp. chirp! Chirp, chirp! There he is. Yeah! All right. Let's get in here. Pause for sponsors. American Energy, thank you very much. Uh, got I'm on this impeachment kick. Splash myself in the face. Bird's mm. got a shake. Look at Ooh, him. that's ice. Shake it up. That's game. What you got? Bird's back in the gym. Watch out. Three scoops. MRP. The new flavor? One. Double chocolate. Double yeah. chocolate. Oat milk. Oat milk. Oat milk. Oat milk. Goodness. Cookie. Cookie. There you go. Good job. He's bench pressing 95 pounds. He's back. 95? Damn, bro. bro. That's what you said. Right? Bro. 25s on the side? I was like, no, I meant like 25 dumbbells. Oh, <laughs> 50. <laughs> I thought you were talking barbells. <laughs> I did. I did do it on a. I did do a barbell for twenty five any side, but it was yeah, not fun. All right, well, so are you keep sore? The conversation Can you like lift your hands? Life. Yeah, I'm good. Now. I'm good now. I'm just like it's just. How, how many days right in the? Week. How many days did you get in the gym last week? Three in the gym, like Monday, oh. Wednesday. Did you go upper body, lower oh, body, dude, upper we, body. We messed up. Yeah, I did do that. We did. We did like upper lower. We messed up. We bro. messed up, bro. It's Richard Nixon, thirty seventh president. Oh, bro, I got impeachment. We didn't mix up. Mess up? Oh, no, we didn't mess up. Yeah, what are you talking about? I got confused for a second. I, I was thinking Reagan for some reason. I was thinking grape. I don't know why. I just was thinking grape. Think that. Dang, think we got it right American then. Made. Hey, shout out to the guy that almost Cheers. got impeached. Thinking about that American made? Yeah, man. Love that flavor. Yeah, Teddy. He, we had to get rid of him. He owned slaves. <laughs> Bro, going hard right from the beginning. Damn. It's well, going to turn into one of those. They're yeah. trying to take down their statue, right? Bro, they're t- trying to take down Washington's statue. They're trying to, like, blow up the... The George Washington, Washington Monument is about to come down. Yeah. This. yeah. <laughs> they're going to rename Washington, D.C. something else, right? Like The National Mall will be something else. Yeah. <laughs> National hell. Did you oh. see the Redskins uh, controversy, though? Uh, we were talking about there's it earlier. So there's, like, a, some sex scam or something, yeah, right? Yeah, he was on, like, the... Who? Uh, Snyder? Dan Snyder? Okay. Yeah, the yeah. owner. No, it was Snyder's the Snyder? Owner. No, it was uh, the coach. Okay. Uh, somebody. Uh, who cares? Somebody anyway, somebody high up. He Dan did Snyder what? Was what did he do? He was on the Epstein uh, list. What? Yeah. He went to the island? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Dude, what's he doing there unless he's... And he like, and then I read something else where it was like he sent like cheerleaders like to Costa Rica um, for like a trip, you know, like... Yeah. Thanks for being cheerleaders or something. Yeah. But it was like a, like a nude photo shoot like set up like guys like watching them and like did they like it like did nah, they want to do they it were, they didn't nah, they didn't know they, they were, were getting with, into it yeah i don't think they were with it oh man yeah. dude what a <laughs> yeah there's a lot coming out like where it's like and then someone like i read some articles it was like yeah like we knew this shit was like been going on like you know like just this guy's like all about the all, all about the what being all about that androchrome <laughs> yeah Bro, we uh ben kane with price plow oh he got into he's it deep he's in it right yeah, he's deep he's in a dark place he knows what's he, up with he it. explained it to you he started uh, talking about monsters inc uh, uh he was I, dude he was all over I'm not it. crazy monsters inc yeah they scare him that that's the whole movie is based off the adrenochrome where they scare him and you know, so he was deep in it oh bro he he's he's like he so they were drinking pretty hard on Friday night, they were taking shots of tequila. Like he was pretty drunk. They all listen to this podcast, so it's come. This is gonna be interesting because they they were like uh, when I when he helped me out, he's like, "Oh, I heard you were talking shit about uh, Nutribio." <laughs> Anyways, um, ah! he goes. Oh, we can go sideways. He was. Life? He just starts going hard. He's like getting really loud. He's like, "I live in fucking New Jersey." Sorry, I live in New Jersey. I can't talk about this with anybody. You know. So yeah. he was spilling all the beans. He's deep in the Clinton hole. He's in. He was in everything. He's in. He's deep in Clinton's hole. <laughs> what, bro? Love those holes. The Clinton rabbit hole, bro. There's a lot of whole deep holes there. Hey, how do we, Bert? You gotta help a brother out here. I'm just killing the people, bro. You, no, got, you got a chop pot? You got that number thirty seven as an athlete? This is not anybody I know. Dave Steeb Steib, MLB. You know that? No. no where's that tripod? I thought we have one in here. All right, because I got the plug in the bottom because oh, I'm about to die. Can you just go south? You know what? I could go. I could go. I could go raw, and then when the battery's about to die, I could jump in there. Where'd you get that um, charger? Um, Alex, oh. warehouse manager, is the only one with a Looks iPhone like charger one. in the entire. Uh, looks like mine. This is a, it's an Apple iPhone charger. It's an old you, one though, bro. How do you know it's yours? They all look the same. I have, They're all white. I'm using one that's like that, Doug. Jeez. All right. You just put me down every second um, you get, don't you? Lots of holes and balls at core these days. Yes, there are lots of balls for sure. Um, and we came up with a shaft idea while we were on the road. Oh, somebody shaft wants a shaft tube. Like a tube to put them in instead of like a packet, like a resealable packet, like a tube. And we call it shaft, shaft, and, and, balls. shaft and balls. Yeah, yeah. When we come out with the juicy like 400 calorie pack, 
Oh, yeah. It'd be called Shaft and Balls. <laughs> Jumbo. Yeah. Uh, where's your retailer shirt today, mate? No retailer shirt today, man. Why not? Shout out, Core. One, I'm out of I'm out of retailer shirts in a way, so I need I need more uh, I need. So I need if you're a retailer shirts. out there, and then send in a shirt, and then what? Um, at the same time, I love the retailers. The retailers just frustrate me. I put, I put <coughs> too much effort into this sometimes, and don't get enough love back. So. Was well, there something in particular that got you? Yeah, we talked about it. I don't know if I want to talk about it now. Bro, I'm, I'm trying to set feet. I'm trying to set this up and be all casual, and meets <laughs> like. Oh, we talked about it already, Doug. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was trying to like just set them up and All ask right, the questions so and get them there. The short story is, is that sometimes retailers want to dictate who you sell to. Like they want to do your job, right? Like you can't sell to this person. I have a territory and this person, this person does this, that person does this. So you can't sell to them. But like when does a brand ever get to dictate what brands you carry in your store, right? That's the frustrating part. I like, think the counter argument there though is... They are paying money, so you are receiving money. So in that sense, if you are paying, yeah, if you are paying them for the space in the store, then you could dictate. So I'm, I'm just being devil's. I mean, I'm with you, but I'm just being devil's advocate here. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, just zip. No, Boop. But I'm the one pulling my pants down and bending over and taking it in the ass every time. <laughs> Damn, we went hard. Retailers. We're going there. I, like I don't know. It's just like uh, the efforts that sometimes we put in, the shit that we do. It's frustrating, especially it's when frustrating. you've gone over and above for yeah. certain people. Yeah. yeah. Are we looking too white with that light? Bro, and um, Aaron was shooting us. Oh, this is great. He was like, damn, Pat, you're whiter than Doug. And I was like, oh, that's right, Doug. Super wide. Oh, whiter than Wh Doug? Yeah, and he was like, no, 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 whiter. <laughs> yeah. I, was like, ah. I was like, I thought I heard white. Or yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Like, it did almost sound like wider. And Pat was like puffing his chest out. Was like, around. Yeah. And Aaron's like, dude, I said whiter. <laughs> it's that North Carolina accent. Couldn't really hear it. You know, yeah. it's kind of blended in. We also, uh, there was another good one. We had. Um, yes, you can stack. Uh, we fat burner passing. with stabilize. So we finished at the Nacho Taco where we crushed two sandwiches. And then the guys wanted to go out. So we were like, me, me and Doug are like, uh, you know, whatever, I don't know. So then we we're like, let's just go see what's going on. So we walked over, and they're going into a bar. But before we get there, we passed this Asian uh, sushi place. Oh, bro, you're going there? Oh, is that where we're going? Oh, I guess you're going there, bro. All right, go there now. You went. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's a funny story. I just, I'm talking it's like it's just me and Bobby. And <laughs> okay, yeah. Else is and no one else is listening. Okay. <laughs> so just so everyone knows, Aaron <laughs> is... Going to be like baby, baby bird for when we're down. And he's the new baby bird when we moved to North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. So he came and did some. We got a lot of content from the weekend. Yeah, no, no I shouldn't go there. No, well, you have to go there now. <laughs> yeah, now we're just like so we're walking by the sushi place. <laughs> so and a, he has an Asian girlfriend, you know, so no, no big deal. But <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> Like it's ours. Yeah, like it's ours. Yeah, no big deal. Like, <laughs> why you got to make it weird? Just tell the story. It's already so. weird anyway. And he's like, I can't wait for Aaron to text me. Like, yeah, what, the, what did he say? He's like, I like to eat Asian. <laughs> no, you're like, Doug was like, um, oh, sushi. We should have went like, there. Oh, sushi. We could have gone. For, I, I like some Asian and or something like that. Yeah. And then Aaron was like, yeah, I like to eat Asian. And he cuts himself <laughs> off. And Doug was like, you, what? I said, you like, like that yummy? And he was like, one Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It was funny. It was a good time. It was a good weekend. The nutrition store event um they don't believe in masks in south carolina that that was you know we was like no, nothing was going on it was a good party um good oh, event a lot of good conversations with people we had a lot of people actually come up to us and uh been following you guys you know love your show which yeah, i think love is the awesome. show love that love <laughs> that you guys put your faith out there it's a couple of that there stuff was a couple of those yeah it was good it was a really good weekend we so. haven't broke it down in praise lately Maybe we, gotta, we need we need something to we sing probably, about we should probably start <laughs> Before we uh, go into this and start talking a bunch of BS and cussing, yep, we probably yep. should start with a prayer. Yeah, we should. Or afterwards and ask for forgiveness. <laughs> ask or. for forgiveness instead of permission. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Fit Stop's in here. Speaking of retailers. What up, dude? Got a package of the new stuff a while back to try, and I actually like the new core stuff much better than the old stuff. Great stuff. Let's go. All right. You want to put your phone number out there for everyone? so they can He's got my phone number. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And we need a T-shirt so that me can represent you on Yeah, here. so if you're a retailer and you're watching... I'm out of t-shirts, so I guess if you Mike, don't, if Mike, you don't know, we do a retailer highlight every week. Mike Ludzik has uh, dropped the ball on that one. Big Mike, is he Big Mike in here? I don't know. 
I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. He did tell me that his wife was dropping the ball on her or something. He threw his wife on the Oh, bus. nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I feel like, well, do we have anything else to recap this weekend? Good event down in South Carolina. Me, man, I'll tell you, in South Carolina. I lost my phone. The, oh, 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 here we go. Let's tell the story, okay? So we're in Bumble, North Carolina somewhere. No, we're not. We're still in Virginia. So we're on 81. Oh, yeah. Okay. Exit Bumble, Virginia. Exit Sorry. 205. I know this. Is yeah. Like, anyways, I'm driving and... The windshield wipers are broken, and I notice it every time I drive it, but I forget to replace them when I'm here. I was like, let's go into Pilot. So and they had them. I got to get gas. Let's stop here. Oh, they have windshield wipers at Pilot. So cool. We get them. I get yelled at because I didn't wear a mask inside. But Oh, he didn't wear a mask. And the lady's <laughs> like, I have my mask on. A, I just forget. I get, the lady's like, you need to, forgetful if you're going to be in here, you need to have a mask. And he's like, he looks right at her. He's like, I have a medical condition. <laughs> it wasn't that much And then like this little old lady. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. And then, like, she comes back to him, like, a minute later. And so, like, I'm really sorry. I should have asked you. And I was like, Pat's no, like yeah, okay. you should have, <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no, I'm, just I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And then I was like, Doug, I got to get out of here. It's okay. Just wait. Just come on. Just check out with me. It's Anyways, okay. we go out there. Huh? I think it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You okay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we're fiddling with these dang uh windshield wipers because oh like Je we can't get it we can't get it working Sorry. so <laughs> jesse from new um um uh, nutrition nutrition junction, junction yeah, yeah he uh forgot to give you the t-shirts to wear to bro <laughs> he had it. one job this weekend jesse one job all right so all we're trying to change the windshield wipers so we're watching youtube videos because we're idiots and we don't know how to put them they're on. pretty easy that once you figure it out yeah once mm -hmm. you figure it out so we're both on our on our phones youtubing i put my phone on the hood of the ProMaster 2500, Pro which is a steep hood. It's like, it's like that, yeah. And then I started driving like 15 minutes away, like 15 minutes down We were the road, eating snacks. Eating snacks. I was really worried about my snack. He was and eating snack. I'm like, oh, dude, where's my phone? I'm looking through my crotch because sometimes I put it there. And it's not on front of the phone. It's not and then uh, I was like, here, let me ding it. It's probably in the back. And I go to my phone, and it's like, no, my watch disconnected. That. I'm like, bro, I left it. So we turned so I, around. I tried to log in too to find my iPhone. It was gone. Like it was. I cut through like the police side. They're not supposed to cut through. It's gone. We're 18 miles up the road. So yeah, lost the phone. So we wasn't there when we got that. back. And then we hit the worst traffic through Rona. It took 18 us, miles up and then 18 it miles back. It took us like nine. Yes. It was, we lost a good hour, 45 minutes an hour. And then we got stuck part. in traffic. That was then like, we got stuck in traffic for an accident. And then. We spent like I don't know how long in the AT and T store trying. Like AT and T said we need to go to the store to get the phone that the the insurance wasn't going to help you there. But then we get there and they said no, the insurance is completely separate. They send you your phone directly. I was like, well, we're going to South Carolina. Like, how's that going to work? So, long story short, I was like, he needs to leave here today with a phone, and I don't want to commit to paying on something that's going forward. So we opened a new business line. He got a loaner, like a new phone, a new iPhone like 11 or something which with a distorted camera yeah he was, was filming weird, weird stuff no no it's it's just the everyone's Setting? the same yeah it's just the instagram for the iphone 11 yeah for like if you switch it over in story mode yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like weird yeah, yeah. it's just happening to everybody uh, on uh, the 11 uh, yeah i think just on any i think on any phone no no mine was good yours was good yeah oh uh, like mine was well, your 11 way. pro yeah. yeah i don't know, I don't know. yeah so anyways weird. so then story. He had that, and then it actually arrived Friday the next day because they said they couldn't guarantee it would be there the next day. But it did. It got there in the afternoon. And then... Yeah, Celeste, she was very nice. She was she like, was I've good. never seen helpful. it not be there the next day. But the guy on the phone was, like, really slow. He, he was, was like, ignorant. It was, yeah, he was ignorant. Yeah. Yes, that was a good word. Yeah. We'll go back Thanks. to the definition of ignorant here yeah. again. So he was ignorant. And it was probably his first phone call he ever did. And uh, so, yeah. So then... He got, we opened a line and then he returned the phone yesterday and closed the line and then he got his new phone set up. So like at the end of the day, the insurance was $225 and it was probably like a hundred dollars all in activation and cancellation. So $300 fuck up. It was, just, oh. it was rough. Beep. Rough down, rough, rough trip down. It's all good. Got to look at some houses. Yeah, we did. We went to this one guy's, uh, it was a NASCAR house. It was sick. Yeah, it was really cool. Go guards. No, but dude, he had a man cave. His, like, he had a sick dude, truck. He had the sickest. Oh, he had a really sick truck. He had the the K two edition. K two edition of the new Silverado. Yeah, it was sick. It had a. I think it had like a white Did you wrap, you in? a satin. Or was it like for sale? No, <laughs> he, no was, for sale. he wasn't living. He there. wasn't there, but his truck was in the garage when we were looking at the garage. He was at his like, you know, five. Million but you could house. you could tell he was he could tell he was uh, a NASCAR because all the stuff in his house. And then we walked into the man cave, which I would totally turn into like a gym. It was like like 
the biggest bro um, uh, man like workshop. So he had like pegboard. All the walls were pegboard. Everything was like color coordinated. He had like his uh, wakeboards like color coordinated, like mounted perfectly. He had his mountain bike and his road bike like mounted up. They had like every tool you could possibly think of. That's sick. It was 900. The, just that part was 925 square feet of the like the man cave. That was cool. It was that, that was definitely the nicest house that we, we looked at. <sighs> so, yeah. So we're going back down. Steph and I are going back down in um, two weeks on yep. the weekend Let's to play. look at. So just get back with Brian. You're just going to drive around? Or? No, I'll get with Brian and try to look at some of the houses, look at look on the point, look on. You know, I, I think I really do want to be on the water. I really yeah, do. I think you should be. I was talking to Sam more about it. Like, I think you'd regret, regret I having. This is a silly. This is what I think of. When I was buying my Explorer, I was looking at a $19,000 Explorer that was base model stripped down. And then I was looking at the $24,000 Explorer that was fully loaded leather. And you said, bro, $5,000, you'll be, you'll be shooting yourself in the foot like a couple years later. Yeah, but and dude, we're talking a million dollars. I difference. understand <laughs> that. That's why I'm saying it's a bad comparison. But you. that's, what, that's the thing. point, right? Like, I know. If you're living across the street, looking at the lake every... <laughs> what are they <laughs> doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Doug's going to be doing that. But, <laughs> oh, how, the kids will be. We should have did that. The kids will yeah, be. We yeah, should've, we should have done you'll, that. You'll have some regret. Yeah. So, so you might as well do it. Let's talk about the deals this week. MRP. New MRP launch. Brand new. In the four flavors, if you buy all four, you get a apple crumb cake in the old version for free. Uh, te- for which, free. Everything's 10% off uh, the MRP, and you can add coupon codes to that. And big news, the once Nutrition Corner exclusive Fuzzy Uncle Carl, a.k.a. Peach Mojito, is now live. I wish we had cock air fresheners to put with everyone but i i don't know where they are i think they're i think they're at the store i stores. think we just sent them all to, to, to cock. Carl. he probably has them it's like bro we could have had them autograph them and then you know what what's the other big news this week this is huge oh america america new now you can get a site updated it's, it's, now? it's good to go good to go fresh. you can get america labs and america energy products on the core site so like if you already you know you're, you've already spent 100 but most people spend over the average tickets over 100 dollars on the core site and they get free shipping. So you just want to pick up a case of energy drinks. You don't have to like go and buy them separate. Just throw them on. You want to pick up some meat sticks? Just go and add them on. I think that's huge because a lot of our customers are, you know, buy both. Uh, you can add, get Liberty Balls to add into the like Big Papa stack. Um, so let's go through our releases that I messaged you. So we we just, so that's, that's, that's the deal this, this, this month uh, right, so or th- this week. Next week was supposed to be post. But we're pu- putting that off. It's getting posted. postponing the post. Postponing, postponing the post. post. So instead, next week we are doing Ooh. an exclusive Australian ABC flavor. Well, it's not exclusive, but it's an Australian flavor. Yes. It Core is mimicked ABC. after their candy called a red skin. Australian raspberry chews. It's we're delicious. Call it Australian raspberry chews. Yes, yeah, so we don't want to be racist either. Or so it's like a anybody. What would you describe it as? Just a raspberry candy like a sweet raspberry but it's almost has the same type of creamer that like Sherby? the our sherbies does so if you like orange sherbet this is like a raspberry version i wouldn't of say it's as creamy as it's not as cream it's not as creamy it's it's sweet though it's really yeah, sweet yeah. it's yeah. like candy sweet so we're launching that and then the following week so the following week puts us in august yep which these are not in order i think though. we're doing shred no i think they just came through separately bro what's going on keep here on, keep going keep going keep going there here we go all right, so August 3rd will be Shred. Which is the new Shred in a new flavor as well as the old flavor. So we're going to do blackberry lemonade with the pineapple strawberry. And it's a new formula where we added the GBB to it. Um, no, not blackberry lemonade. It's mango spice. Oh, yeah. Mango you, it was the mango spice. Oh, man, we have so much stuff to drop. I can't even keep it straight. The blackberry lemonade. Yeah, I knew that sounded wrong. The blackberry lemonade was the new flavor of Heart Extreme. Extreme. There you go. Shred, it's the mango. What are we calling it? Mango heat. Mango heat. Mango heat, and the new ingredient is GBB. GBB. So uh, the next week, we are doing an exclusive flavor launch of Fury and Pump that you can only get through going to the Stack 3D. You making it happen? You put it out there? Oh, I'm not supposed to say that? No. Hey. Shit, I just did. That's the, the Stack 3D um, virtual expo that they're doing. So August 10th, Stack 3D is holding... Their own expo, right? So on August 10th, yep. you guys, if you're Stack 3D fans, go to their website. 
and they're going to have this like virtual thing you can walk through, click on different brands, and then each brand will probably be doing an exclusive thing or exclusive deal. Yep. So what we're trying to do is new launch. a new flavor of Fury and Pump, and then with that deal, you get an exclusive limited number 10. Oh, bro, we're over that. We're like 12. 12, 12 at least, I think. Stack 3D, Core Nutritionals collaborative shirt. Yep. So, Which we didn't even ask Shane about yet, but we're just doing it. No, he gave me the logos. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, then, I've, I've been sweet. on it so, ever since... I don't know. You said write that down, and I went out and I did oh, nice it. Nice beat. Um, is the new ABC? Uh, I was saying because we've we didn't know if we were going to actually be able to pull off the new flavor by then. Well, we, we really don't know if we are, but we're just saying we're putting it out there. So okay. I got you. Uh, Drew, Drew watches this, so yeah, Drew, you, you got to get this done. Get it, get it done. Is the new ABC like ARN raspberry sorbet? No, not as tart. Right, it's a little more candy. Yeah, more sweet. A little more candy. Yep. Uh, and well, it's the nature of the product, right? Like harness and daily pump are more active, so like they tend to be a little more tart. It's so good. Um, this would it's be so, more sweet. It's so good. All right, well, let's get into. Keep going. We we, we okay. So we're, we're in August. Um, August seventeenth is going to be post. So we're going to sit on. We'll have post before then, but we'll sit on. So it we can send out bit. some samples to some of our yeah. good uh, retailers to try. It's awesome. I yeah. lo- I'm really excited about it. Hot well, we actually have the hot cocoa in now. Which shoot, I should just take one home. I got to start using this. Yeah, start promoting it, dude. Oh, Bird, we, we got to shoot an MRP video after this. We forgot about that. And then I, we didn't have this on the schedule, but I put it on there. August 31st, I want Zone to launch. I mean, we, we introduced it to I know, you've been, we, the we, SIRS this weekend. We teased it this weekend, and people are They're loving it. And then I'm getting questions. Uh, Portland Nutrition Corner asked me about it today. It's a such a cool product, and the formula is so stacked. At only 150 milligrams of caffeine, it's gonna be an awesome product. Yeah, formula's not out there yet. Bird, we got it. You got some of the, uh, creative influencers we can send this product to. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, proofs are in my inbox right now. We just gotta approve the proofs. So let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, nice. a bomb! I'm sure somebody's asking about a bomb. So we're working on the label. We're yeah, actually probably asking about balls. I, and I got bars. a draft of the a bomb label today. I really like the direction we're going. Yeah, I like the direction for sure. Yeah, we're there. We're getting there. So I'm still thinking August for A-bomb. Yes. What, what, what's today? The 20th? July's a long month, it feels. It is. Let's get those sales, baby. All right, yeah. I got three sales while I'm sitting here, bro. Oh, look at that. Meat punk coming through. Um, Big month for meat. <laughs> oh, what about September? Let's roll through you September. You want a September Let's this? go. Let's go. Do you remember? Okay. Hey. hey. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, focus. Uh, September 7th is a Monday. I can't read. This, I am so Labor excited Labor Day. For. ABC, pin, do you like pina colada? So that's the ABC to commemorate the end of summer. We're going with a summery flavor. Is that the last day of I'm summer? I'm super excited about that. No, but like Labor Day, it's like the unofficial end of summer. Can't wear, can't wear white after that day. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I don't listen to any of that. All right, keep going. All right, then uh, September the 14th. Core Z's, the new version. I think it's funny when people say Core Triple Z or Core Z's. Z Z Z. Yep. Yeah, Core. Cause we just and then Z's. another big one. And then. And then. And then. A sandwich? Oh, Do you, you remember the 21st day of September, we launched our greens. In two new flavors. In two new flavors. Which are? They are. Um, this is a quiz? No. What flavors are they, Doug? Dude, come on. <laughs> Grape candy. Yep. And Arnold Palmer. Yes, sir. I know it. I'm smart. And what are the flavors of Corzone? Sour candy, which is like a Maybe spree. One of those. Which is like a spree. It's like awesome. A sour spree. Yep. I love sprees. They got good like sugar when you bite in there. Yep. Um, and then Arnold Palmer. Man, we are putting Arnold Palmer out there. We're gonna get. No, we're not gonna get it. Hey, don't put that out there. We're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna get Arnold Palmer to join the team. There you go. Sponsorship. He, uh, no, it was Jack Nicholas. Jack Nicholas was. The, uh, he got had the COVID. He survived. <laughs> okay. So did I. Yeah, but he's Somebody, like 75. Who was it? Thomas, uh, he's Thomas, 75, bro. Thomas Moat came up to me. He's like, he's like, bro. He like fist pump, fist pumps me. He's like, I got the antibodies too. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> it's like we're part of it, like a secret society. Yo, yeah, I got, like I got shared blood. I got those anti- like that. Yeah, I don't even want to go there. I was gonna go. Just don't go down the hole. Don't go into the rabbit hole. The Clinton hole. The Clinton hole. Don't go in any of those. Dude, holes. that's a deep, dark, smelly hole. Yeah, <laughs> that's just so. Oh, 
That was good to see Ben get from he Price Club. He was fired up about the Clintons. There was some mur more murder conspiracy. He was a deep conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Oh, he believer. Just recently, somebody in his neighborhood was killed that was linked to the Clintons. Oh, that's right. The whole family drowned in the pool, uh, like a husband and wife and a kid. I saw that. For no, like. In East Brunswick, like down the street. And he was the head of the Clinton Foundation, right? Yeah. Something like that. Bro. Bro. Sketch. You know, Jake we, we talk about COVID and all this crazy shit going on. Epstein scandal is going to rock this this uh, election beyond. I think that's I'm predicting it now. There's going to be some shit that gets released in the next four months that is going to blow everyone's mind. I forget the guy's name. Jake was sending me something. Um, it was an interview that's got, gotten linked, leaked. Um, Black Lightning ABC. That's a good idea. What's the dude's name? I don't know. Aaron Russo. He was interviewed like back in 2008, his final interview, and he was going on about. Who is that? Aaron Russo is a producer of, a, I don't know, a bunch of movies and stuff. He's just deep in the New York. Before he died? Is he dead? I, I think so. Anyways, he was just, it was just an interview that he's going on about 9 11 being a conspiracy, like all no, this. Well, I don't believe that shit. That's that. You can't deny the planes went into there. They said he killed himself, right? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's how I, I uh, killed what was, what was the other thing I was just going to talk about? Oh, darn. Like they said a V2 killed himself. And Who? Avicii, the the DJ. Yeah, what what was his deal? They're saying he was like he was trying to expose like the whole Hollywood stuff. Too. Oh, and they showed uh, you know how like Mel Gibson got blacklisted big time in Hollywood. Yeah. They had clips of him from like yeah. was it 2004. Lost it. What's that? They thought he was like losing his brain. 2004, where he says like this this whole industry is run by a group of pedophiles and trying to cover up shit. And then like he was black, dude. He was the Mel Gibson and Braveheart, the goat. For sure. Like, brah. Yeah. Brah. Brah. That's like the greatest movie of all time. I'm putting it out there. Put it out there. I'm glad I'm not in Hollywood. What's that? I'm glad I'm not in Hollywood. Oh, it's weird. They would have played with your bird. Bird. Played with your bird? Bird. Yeah. Played with they would have liked that bird. All right, let's get into some questions. <laughs> all right, well, well, sh uh, shoot. We're like we'll already half an hour in. Yeah. Let's pause it up. All, all right, right, let's pause. How do we get Big Mike in here? Are you sure that's Swansea Nutrition Club? Yeah, how do I add somebody in here? I don't know, dude. This is too much time. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, all right, we're back. Go live with it. Here we're we back. <laughs> We've been back. Oh, we never go. went anywhere. I think yep, I just spit. we're back. I just spit. We got that COVID. All right. Oh, he's unable to join. Yep. All right. All right. Let's keep it rolling. You, you good in there? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yep. All right. To the questions. To the questions, let's Doug. All right. Um, we've answered. We've talked about this. Is H and B useful in a bulk? You're supposed to screen these that we've already talked about, mate. Huh? I would say yes. Any, Maybe I mean, it's their first time. I think it's more valuable in a cut, but it's not like it doesn't work when you're in a bulk, but you're more likely to not be in a catabolic state with excess calories. Yeah. Okay, so what are your – while we're talking about bulking, what are the best tips for lo anyone uh, looking to build muscle naturally? We can uh, be in a surplus. Go on over this. Cannot be in a deficit. You want to build a muscle? Do it, but do it slowly. Like, don't go buck wild and just get fat. No. Like, two pounds a month at most. If you do that for a year, it's 24 freaking pounds. That's juice. Right? Like, take it slow. Like, people, they, like, a pound a week. Like, that's gross. Are you calling me out right now? Why? Are you going a pound a week? No, you, I don't know. I know you just, why are you so defensive, me? You so sensitive? That's my middle name is reactive and defensive. There's two of them. There's two? Two middle Patrick, names. Patrick, reactive, reactive, reactive mother. Defensive. Freaking defensive, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> was that tripping? Uh, was tripping when you like had to go back and try to find your phone? Was it just like an ordeal? Oh, no. It was yeah, the, yeah, I was pretty chill. No, he, he, he got, we went to the I, I He was, I looked over and I was like, Pat. You know, sometimes you're just a lot to handle. Yeah, he it pulled. Was, he, it was so great. It was. I, he was like, I'm the. Handler I was calling AT and T. I'm I the was handler like, now. Getting it done and like, he's over here. Yeah, I was. Pretty, he, he, but I you was can quiet. tell he's frustrated when he's just white knuckling. And then on the way home, I was battling some really bad stomach pains, and I'm just quiet, and I'm just like hunched over. And then Doug goes, "I'm hungry. I'm I'm battling some really bad stomach pains." He's like, "I could tell." <laughs> he's like hunched over. But then he got him out. He farted a couple times. Yeah, and we went, went and got Tammy's. He got crushed that sandwich. Like yeah, that sandwich. Wow, wow, sandwiches are amazing. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Um, this next question is from Alex. C-I-A-N 
F L O N ninety eight. And the reason <laughs> I calling you out is because Core Nutritionals is in Canada. Any more in more retailers? Yes. So Amped Nutrition, they're an online retailer, but they're based out of Ontario. So hit up Amped Nutrition. They got a lot of stuff. Too. They got a lot of stuff. Um, I asked him how he was doing yesterday because you asked me, and he yeah. said uh, they're doing good. Um, just the gyms are shut down and not a lot of pre workout oh, sales right now. Yeah, like not a lot of those kinds of sales. Got to get that M- MRP up there. Yeah. So sweet. Um, all right. So what's going on with America Energy? I can't find them at GNC anymore. So GNC, or we are no longer dealing with GNC. We, you know, or America Energy. Yeah. It was. They, I'm just going to put this out there real. There was some really bad miscommunication. I mean, they're a great partner of ours, so like, but I'm always real on this podcast, so I'm just going to say that, right? So there was some really bad miscommunication on the buyer side and in terms of kind of like launching new flavors, and they were upset that they had to hear it from somebody else, yet we... Stacked. But we told them like four times and asked them, and they were actually even involved in the flavoring of the, the Liberty flavor. Yet that buyer like left and then another buyer came in and then it said there was bad communication. So like it just, it didn't work out. And at the same time they, they launched their mad pony bullshit energy drink. I haven't um, seen which is that lately. just, <laughs> the whole lady. it's cause it sucked. <laughs> and I love all the guys, the, the guys I work with it and girls You'll tell are, that to their face. Yeah, I'll tell it to their face. Like mad pony. Like you put out these dumbass videos, like they weren't America videos. I'll tell you that with like some horse on your head, you get like 23 views and you're like, come on, bro. <laughs> I mean, not like we had a ton of views, but our videos were like great yeah, age, juicy juice. And like, yeah. So anyways, it just didn't work out, but it's all good. Um, yeah. So yeah. we are no longer, which, you know, actually it worked out perfectly. No, it's the good. whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Just wasn't meant to be, and it yep. worked out for us. So yep. we're moving on. Yep. All right. So I got uh, Meat Brigade Stampede just spitfiring a bunch of questions oh, in, in, <laughs> for you. Meat Brigade Stampede. I like it. No, no, no. no. Sam P. Sam Oh, P. <laughs> he said Stampede. I, I, is lit, though. Stampede. Yeah, I was I like, like, that's a big word for me. Stampede? <laughs> you been reading a lot, me? <laughs> no. I've been trying to do daily devotional, so I have been trying to read okay, the Bible okay. more. Okay, I see you out here. Um, but anyways. Pastor, Pastor Meat. Uh, are we still training at our home gym? Did we tell the, the six feet dickhead story no, on here yet? That's a great, because that was last Wednesday. Oh, yeah, we got to tell that. All right, what was the question? And then we'll get into that. Uh, well, let's get through Sam P's uh, question. Yeah, he's got like, yeah. Still, Stampede still questions. training at home question? Uh, still training at your home gym? No. I'm tra- uh, I mean, occasionally, but I'm training mostly at DMV Iron. You're using and, it like you then, typically then, would. Yeah. And then training here, our container that will probably push me over the edge to train here just about every day, uh, arrives next Monday in Baltimore. And then it's going to be, so we're going to need help. A we're going to need show. to meet her. We need help putting this stuff together. Yeah. I need friends. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Um, this is a funny one. Were yeah. you spanked as a kid? I know meaty wasn't, he's off the hizzle. What's that mean? I don't even know. I was definitely spanked. Bro. I got, a, I was you know, this like, Oh, I got a painter stick. You know, like the Easter of the paint. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Got that. And like, uh, but I mean, like. That's a good like one. Like once or twice. Like, nah. And like those paddles that you like go like this with the ball. Damn. He had yeah. weapons. Yeah. But it wasn't like. My dad talks like about once belts a lot. He got whipped with a belt. But yard, uh, yard yeah. sticks. Steph's dad would bring out the belt. I didn't, I didn't get. I yard just, sticks. The long, like. Oh, whoa, with, like, the, with the whip to it. Oh. Just, the crack, I remember you know, driving. They, or my mom would be driving. And me and Kayla would be in the, the back seat. And we would do, be doing something. And she would just be. Flinging that arm back there, trying to hit something. I remember getting uh, smacked on the leg. Your mom? My mom, yeah. And then my dad would he would he would smack he would smack the butt, yeah, pretty hard. But he would always threaten the. I got whipped with a belt, you know. But he never pulled out a belt. Um, last time you missed a meal or training session. Jeez, what are we robots? This is <laughs> a good. Um, you know, it's funny because we, we talk s- about the Saturday morning. Oh yeah, so. We made a decision that night. Like, I just wasn't going to drink Friday night. They were getting hammered. Chris. I had one beer. Chris Waldron was a from, uh, Inspired beer, was going hard. You know, he was doing shots and wanted to buy me a shot. I'm like, dude, I'm good. You know, I appreciate it, but I'm, I'm good. And they were going hard. I know they were going to get tore up. And so that's why they went to the other bar where, like, 
this is just not going to end well. And like, we wanted to get up and train the next morning and they were supposed to be there too. I was like, bro, there's no way that they were going to end up there. Apparently they shut down the bar and then went and got forties to finish off, <laughs> to finish off the night. It's, it's great. Um, so, but then the next day, like I was eating out of Tupperware and Chris made a comment like, bro, do you like pack all your, you know, like, like I was like, literally I packed four meals for the entire like four day trip. So like, no, I was like, this is, I just, just me in one. I yeah. just happened to have meals. Yeah, like I don't me. want this to go bad. So right. Like, so it. we're just eating it. Like yeah. I'm not, we don't live the, t- the bro Tupperware. We had a, we like, had a pork sandwich later. Oh, that pork sandwich was good. Like yeah. they had barbecue. Yeah. So like, I think people think that I'm very much like a f-ing robot. Excuse the French. I got to drop a couple of F-bombs in yeah, there. I got to. Uh, like a robot like that, but it's, it's not the case. A cuck is way more cucky than me. Yeah. Like, Cuck, but, Cuck would Tupperware that up the whole weekend, pretty much. But I will say, like, you, uh, I mean, like, you were going to train. Like, you're not going to miss your training. If you have it. No. If I was have, planning to train, I wasn't going to miss my training. Yeah. You know, so I've missed way more meals than I have training. I will say that if Doug wasn't with me, I probably would have got caught in that 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> mess. <laughs> But Pat yeah. was the one who made the decision to say, no, let's go. Yeah, so we were walking up to that but bar. But then I was like, okay. We were walking up to that bar. I was like, nah, let's go. Yeah. And like Doug was like, yeah, okay, guys. We're going to get out of yeah, here. Yeah, I think we're, that's enough. We didn't even smoke our second cigar. We were lame. We didn't. We got to smoke a cigar. In, so North, North Carolina. Oh, oh yeah, so here we go. Cool. North Carolina. We're there Thursday night hanging out with Jay. Um, and they had, we ate, went to dinner. And then they had outdoor tailgating uh, trivia. So bars are closed. I, I saw your I saw your I story. Like, I was just like, this is perfect. Me, lo- me's got oh, love it. I was like, you know what? This is I'm moving here. Yeah. And no one had a mask Grab on. Your yard chair. Get your yard chairs. Put it down. Oh, we do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Get so you go. So you go get a to go beer. They call it like to go beer. Thirty six ounces. It's in um, thirty six. You know plastic. The, you know the when faux, you, the you faux containers. Yeah. When you order Chinese or whatever, they get, yeah, yeah. get a soup. It was in soup cups. Like big Sick. soup. <laughs> yeah. It was it was great. There's playing trivia. You got a, it's the honor system. You couldn't use your phone. No phones, Doug but you, got one. But you Doug had, helped them out. You had to write down your question. So like there's four rounds, and there was like ten or twelve questions in each round, or more than that questions in each round. Some was like music. They played the song. What year did these songs come from? And all that. It was good. You yeah, started. Can you start a core bingo down there when you guys get the place? Oh, bingo? Yes, I don't know. For sure. I'll get how many. Brent, Brent how could many? Brent could help us with that. Yeah. My dad can help us too. He, he, he runs right. bingo. He used to, yeah. yeah he would, he well, would, we need the license though. That's he would the announce. We it need to figure out how the nonprofit works. It can pay me rent in the facility, and like, we'll, we'll yeah, figure it out. Sure, yeah. All right, this is a deep question. <laughs> Perfect, oh, man. That was good. <laughs> Do you ever doubt yourself and your company, or have you ever? Yes. Okay, let's not get deep. Let's just answer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I go through moments where, like, um. Like when everything is like really going good, I have these moments just like it could all end tomorrow. Like just I don't know, weird, just some weird thoughts, and then I just squish them out of my head, and then I'm just like, let's go. I, like yeah. the beginning of COVID. Yeah, like it took like I was in a funk for about a week, and then I said, screw this, we're gonna crush this. Um, yeah, so sometimes like yeah, I mean like if this happened and then this happened and this happened, but it's like all this bad stuff. But then on the flip side, it's like. But if this happens and this happens and this happens, so I focus way more on that. And honestly, I'm just so busy to really think, to stop. So, and I think that's, that's good because it makes me not get those negative thoughts in my head as much and it continues the progress. So, there we go. Bird, you want to answer? Uh, no, nah, I don't doubt my, <laughs> my brand. But no, I just, I always think like, yeah, it could just end tomorrow. Like, you know, and I could just be back just... Yeah. Working. No, I don't doubt the brand. I don't doubt the products. I don't doubt any of that. Yeah, no. Yeah. But it's just, it's that, like, everything's on the line. Everything, of. yeah, everything's on the line. I mean, at least he has people working for, like, I need to get to the point where, like, I'm not the only person, like, like, without me, it doesn't go. So, like, yeah. if anything were to happen to me, then it's definitely not going to go. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's always a lot of pressure to be, like, stay healthy. I got to yeah. make sure I make all these, you know, yeah, do all these things. So, yeah. I need to get there. <laughs> all right. So um, we went over a bomb. August is hope. Greens September. Think of using a PA seven product. Mm-hmm. What core products would stack well with that? Dude, PA seven with core bollock is an amazing stack. 
It's awesome. like a non test boosting stack. Like yes, a, it's oh. like a natural antibiotic stack. That's awesome. Yeah. I think Sean was actually even like selling that together as a stack. Where? I don't know. But he, he when we when Core Box like first came out, when it first it came out, he's like, "Oh, dude, send me some pot." I was like, "We need to like promote this together." Like he was all about you know the yeah. combo. Yeah. It's a good okay. stack. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind doing a PA seven uh, or a phosphatidic acid product. At some point. Can I get on Corbolic now? Even though I'm like yeah baby in the gym. It actually, so the. Uh, the Pico 2 in there would probably help with your endurance. You're doing a lot of biking. Yeah. Right? So, did, what happened? The other, I saw you have a flat tire, tire or something? Yeah. So, did you ride the whole way back with, like, a busted Bruh, tire? It was just, like, I went to roll out the driveway. It was flat. Like, go back in, pump it up. I was like, okay, cool. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, it must have just got flat. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That's, like, never. No, I mean, I was looking, looking for so a nail. So, what happened? And then I just, I rolled out, and then I was, like, I could just feel it getting, like, lower and lower. So, like, so what did you do? Came back. Just came back. But by the time I got to, like, my neighborhood... It was completely flat, so I just like. Are you on it. a speed bike, road bike? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. skinny tires, like. Yeah. But I just got them changed, so I was just like, send that back. Oh, I just hit up uh, Abe about some uh, exhaust for the Raptor. Yeah. Nice. Abe's kind of I just talk, thinking about like changing it up. I was just like, it's a little. Too, that, that's the only thing it needs. Like I, I, I'm, everything else is like I don't want to do too much more. But like needs a little bit of exhaust. Yeah. That's what we all say until it's. it's just I know. I was like, I was like, really like that full light system that goes right above the Ford on the front too. The bar. Yeah, that light, light bar. bar. Yeah. But like honestly, I have really good fog, like three system fog, but I never turn them on. I just forget they're there, or like when I'm driving. Like, I just throw some new lights, and I'll just like I just keep getting deeper and deeper. You're and in that like, hole. Yeah, you're oh. deep. You're in the hole. Somebody, uh, garage Jim Dad just says pumped about having both uh, brands on the site. Yeah, I think a lot of people are. Yeah. I think it's gonna it's gonna be huge. Huge, okay. for Huge for America. Does the free shipping on the website over $100 not apply to Hawaii? Correct. We would lose. Far, I mean, bro, Hawaii's it's like this is, this is a for-profit business. Like, yeah. I, I get it. But, like, you get the luxury of living in Hawaii. I'm sorry. You're going to have to pay a little more for shipping. Which I think well, most people's probably They're kind of used to that. Yeah. That and, like, the Virgin Islands, like, they pay an extra, a lot of extra for to get stuff. I remember uh, yeah. Avenator Fitness, they were like reselling hot sauce. He was like ordering a bunch of hot sauce. It's expensive to, hey, man. to get it, you know? There's a market. Um, all right, so fat burner question. Uncle Bam or Core Burn capsules for better appetite suppression? Ooh. I would go Core Burn cap, I yeah, think. I would too. It has you, you him being in it too, which definitely affects my appetite. Okay. Which we're going to core burn caps when they're gone, they're gone. Yep. We're not bringing them as of right this second. We're not bringing them back out. But I will say we are working on like we approved the final formula for ARN's thermo capsule thermo. It's awesome. Pretty psyched about that. So, But I think core will have a core formula. will have burn. We'll be back. We might let's, let's like call it something else. Fire. Yeah, it'll be something, something else because like, we've already called we, uh, burn. powder burn. So we'll call something uh, in Inf fuego inferno. Heat, fire. Let's put that on the people. You guys yeah. start thinking of a name. Uh, but, yeah, we'll bring back a capsule fat burner for a core at some point. I, I want to do it low stim. Everyone goes high stim. But I'm – the ARN, I really like the approach we took on ARNs. As long as – so caffeine – I would say low caffeine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long yeah, as there's yeah. other things oh, in yeah. there to up oh, yeah. the juice. When you said the caps weren't coming back, I just had this, like, flash of, like, life. I don't know what happened. Like, it just went to this, like – Life. Yeah, it was like Doug – it was like Doug, though, Doug's life. It was like Doug retiring. Like, as you say, it wasn't coming back. Like, Doug's retiring. We got a 12-city tour. Like, we just end it. Like, we have no, like, if you have other, if you have supplements that are old, like, Doug signs them. Like, it's like. That's it, and then we're done. We close up shop. Yeah, and then we're just like, then we're just done. Yeah. We're done. It's been a good ride, yeah. folks. <laughs> Yeah, I was, was thinking in my head, I was like, oh, that was, was dark. Like, Speaking of negative thoughts, no, no, not, like, not dark. No, no it's like positive. No, I was like, you have core burn. Hold on to it. Like, you know, you never uh, know down the road it could be. Could be worth a mill. Billion, yeah. Billion. <laughs> core zones drop in August. It'd 30, be expired, but still worth it's it. All good. When do you want to release the formula for core burn? For zone. How about um, like the fifteenth? The end of August. Uh, yep. Fifteenth. Two weeks ahead. Yeah, maybe three weeks. Let's get it. Maybe three. I want to promote the crap out of that product, especially if we start sending some more stuff out. Yeah. All right. Um, how much time do you wait after you? eating a pre-workout meal for a good workout? I honestly, I mean, the way I'm set up now, because I train first thing in the morning, I don't give as much time. I really am only about an hour between my meal and when I start warming up. 
Um, but I really like like two hours. I like a pretty big pre-workout meal and then time to digest. Yeah, I like two hours. But we don't always get that. So it's kind of whatever works, man. Yeah, I need, yeah. need oh, some more dust on the floor. Can we? Let's try to find like a Can Rasmus rug. That? Let's do a Rasmus rug. Can you guys? They can't hear that. They can't this hear floor. that. No. Bro. Let's put this speaker <laughs> down. Check, no. check. Can I pull this off? Yeah. All right, let's move on. All right, let's go. Um, time frame to gain proper mass after a cut with minimal fat gain. Kind of talked about that. Earlier. Yeah, two pounds a month. No faster. I would even go as far as say one pound a month. Mm. That's tough, bro. That's slow. That's bro. discipline, bro, bro. But if you could put on twelve lean pounds in a in a year, maybe after you yeah, gain you, like you, two you, pounds for like yeah, you're gonna gain you're gonna gain a five pound. Like if it was a strong cut, you're gonna gain five pounds back. I would I would say put that five pounds back on pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, get juiced real quick. Yeah, Fill up. Just get your in. get your uh yeah five o'clock. We can do that. Um. <laughs> Getting business, some, getting bro. Let's sales. go. Let's go. Let's sell. Um, let's move on. Right. Will meat actually know the exact episode number? And when will yes, we so. hear about more juicy poops? <laughs> oh, we had poop problems this week. All weekend long, Pat's like, you know, I think he was getting his cramps back. He had his cramps today. Dude, I haven't been taking and, greens. And you That's know my what? problem. He hasn't taken greens. Yep. Seriously. Greens really helps. I've, All it was, I saw the clip. Yeah, the, the one minute clip where I was like, my poop is thick and juicy and... That yeah. made it to the highlight reel. Yeah. Because we, we were talking about, like, I was talking about dog poop, and it's okay to talk about dog poop. Did you have your greens today? No, it's no. my next meal. Okay. Because I don't, I have a meaty loaf as my next meal, and there's no vegetables with that. So that's when I get I my greens. I want to try it. You haven't tried greens? I don't have greens. Bro, no. that's like your thing. Like, that, I see that as a bird staple. Yeah, I know. I need to get back. Do you do out. that guts and glory? I do. Yeah. Oh, mix the berry with the guts yeah. and glory. Or Ooh, even the chocolate. Question. I like the chocolate. It's like uh, chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah. When is Australia getting fury? That was like a little poop. Um, I just messaged Joe. Literally just got a response like yesterday. So they're shutting down the gyms again. So they opened and now they're shutting down. So like that's why we've held off. We, we have approved flavors. They're awesome. So we just, we held off. Um, and so he's like, dude, with this happening, like we just got to hold off. Because I actually... Here's a little hint for you. The way I formulated Zone, which I know was going to do awesome in Australia. Actually, originally I was going to do it for Australia, but because of COVID and everything happened, we put an ingredient in there that makes it non-Australia compliant. There's a little hint. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. So we'll I asked Joe, like, Fury label. I, I, yeah. Try to figure it out. I asked Joe, I, I asked Joe, so like, there's you know, do you want to do an Australian version of Zone 2? And he said the same thing about because of the pre-workout. So we will do an Australian Zone and Fury at some point in time. I know we will. Sorry, but just not yet. Okay. Ready? Let's go. What's your Ooh. heaviest? What's the heaviest you've ever been, Doug? So this morning, I was 209 first thing in the morning. And the heaviest I've probably been first thing in the morning is maybe 218. Really? Yeah. You never hit over 220? Uh, no, afternoon. Maybe I hit 220 yeah. for like like a day or two. Like when I was just like, I knew I was going into prep. I was like, I just got like just pounding food just for the cheeseburger. And yeah, yeah. Uh, but that would have been like 13, either 13 or like 08, like right before my preps. Like like the month before when I was just like, oh, I was hungry. I just eat like a 400 calorie, like the big uh, Metrex protein bar and just yeah. eating whatever. Uh, but you know, the one thing I did know, I always growing up was wondering like, you know, the older people get that muscle maturity that just looks, muscle looks different than young muscle. Yeah. I'm finally at a point where I'm seeing that. And I like being a little bit leaner. Like, like I have, I like being really lean and like have lines in here and like just being tight, scaring the kids at the pool, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. I, I don't need, I like, I don't want to get to like 220 i don't think i could see getting to 215 again and being cool like this winter like i'll probably try to push to yeah like oh, deer yeah. meat let's go deer meat deer meat i don't know it's i get to 215 i'd be so happy yeah so two birds always I posted all those, those when, like, you, were, you were up there right like 225 yeah with the belt with the belt 225 was because of me yeah, when small. you were eating like a thousand carbs a day like loaves of bread 225 monster I like when i was like Quad super rise. strong, like super lethargic, <laughs> like yeah, just not fun. Bowls like, of pasta, like that whole 
Yeah, yeah I was walking around up. like just like I couldn't really like breathe. I felt I like th- I was like, oh. I don't think I got to two twenty that that. Like I think you were like two fifteen. Yeah, two fifteen was about at most. Yeah, I read a, um, I read an article from this guy who was like Chipotle. Like he was like, like full for, burrito. Like three months it was like or or a month maybe here. Three months or a month he was just like Chipotle like as many meals a day as possible. It felt like it was Ugh. like two at least. Like at least one a day. Was he a bro? Like a yeah. He was like you know he was like a he was like two hundred pounds. A juicy. Or yeah, but he was just like two hundred pounds. He lifted every day for like two three hours. Like so, I was yeah. like, I'm right there with you. Yeah. And he's like Chipotle every day and like just a mass amount of carbs. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this like Chipotle thing because I was eating Chipotle anyway. So I was like every day Chipotle, thousand grams of carbs a day, was like my goal. Jeez. Yeah. And I was like, I could barely, I could barely hit a thousand. Eight hundred is probably like where I was at. That's a lot though. That's a lot. Bro. Yeah. But right. I was like, I was putting on like a pound like every like second. Of, like, <laughs> every, yeah. But I was but training for three ju- hours. I bet so. you had some juicy poops. Oh, man. It was just like leaking. <laughs> oh, I felt bro. like meat, like just leaking. Bro, you got to get yeah. on the greens, man. I, I, do, I yeah. totally see yeah, you. Yeah, I'm ditching that. for my greens now. All, All, right. Right. All right. This is an interesting question. You're not going to know the answer. Okay. You at your best versus Kyushi Moody. Kyoshi Moody at his best. Who wins? Me. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. That was just a dick answer. No, I, yeah, right. he's been. When last time he compete? Bro, I don't know, dude. Did he you compete against him? No, no. no. He, was, he, he, was great. he was great. Right? Wait, that was just a dick answer because I actually was watching this. Uh, Is he before you? After you? Uh, around the same, like same time. Okay. The same time. I, I was watching somebody reposted a clip of the interview I did with Jeff Nippard, and Jeff was asking me a question like, "What do you say the like?" Uh, people that say to you like, "Oh, that's that that's not science space. That's bro science." And my answer, I just reposted it. Was I was like a little smile. I just did, like chuckled. I said, "How do you look on stage, bro?" Or something like that. It was like kind of like a cocky answer that just they were just like laughing at the answer. But like you know, like you know, like the nerds that are sitting there like, "Oh, bro, you like your your bicep curls, your loose form. You're not doing uh, that's an RPE for like 15. It should be at like a 7.5." You. Somebody, uh, <laughs> somebody, comment. Remember, I, I filmed you doing hammer curls over the weekend, uh, and somebody was like, "What body part is he?" Everything, training? hamstrings. I feel that my glutes. Like, <laughs> you wonder why I have good, yeah. I have good hamstrings. You try to curl the hundreds, bro. Like, it's like core. My abs are tore up. Like, I don't yeah. even need to train Lower abs. Back. Lower back, <laughs> yeah. hamstrings. Like digging in. I was getting him traps. I was just. He was. I was being filmed. I was just like fucking around. Oh man. I, I'm getting yeah, a little right, right, right. right. for sure. Yeah, I think <laughs> prayer, prayer at the end is Yeah, yeah, prayer. Yeah. Um, but no, Kyoshi was awesome, dude. I, th- I would say... He had some crazy muscle bellies. Dude, he, uh, his insertions and muscle bellies are next level. It would be, it would be, I think it would be close. I think I was a little crisper. Yeah, would you would be term. more conditioned. I'd be more conditioned, but like his... Uh, no one could touch his muscle bellies. He's got like that... What's like the... Uh, what's the... The fiber, the mTOR mutant, like, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Myostat. He's like a myostatin, like, freak. Like, his just muscle bellies are just crazy. So, like, it would be, it would be good. It would be good. Yeah, that's cool. Good question. Um, are you pro or against the Second Amendment? Pro. Yeah, I would be very pro. Okay, next question. Yeah, if I need energy. So, here's, here's, oh, right, let's, let's stay here. Okay. Let's, let's get in this stay hole. Stay right here. Let's stay, stay right, right in this hole. hole. Political hole. So I just saw something that it was I forwarded it to Trey and Carl because they're con, con, gun toting people from North, uh, Newport News. There was something that they just passed something where the city council passed like five to one banning all firearms in like the Hampton Roads area indoors. Conce- concealed, open, no, it was just open, open carry. carry. Open carry indoors, right? Because this was after the Virginia Beach shooting, which was like a year ago or something like that. Less than a year ago, I think. Less than a year. Yeah. Which, think about this for a second. Was the guy who came in and sh- like shooting up, like, w- I don't understand this because, like, the only people that could stop somebody who's going to come in and break the law is somebody, a law-abiding citizen with a gun. So, like... Allowing you to carry. Allowing you to carry, right? So, if you take away that right, how are you going to protect yourself? Because that criminal is going to break the law. If they want to break the law, they don't, they don't care about the law. They don't so, know what the gun laws are. Right. They don't care. It's the same thing with, like... Oh, Auto weapons, the, the criminals are still going to get them, yeah. right? Like, so it's, that whole argument is just whack. I just feel like it's not thought through. Like no, the, it's the, not. They pass those laws. Like, what dude, are you thinking? A lot what? of the shit these days is just not pot thought through. Like, everyone is. This, it's cancel culture. It's, I'm just, 
losing my mind. It's the stupidity of some of the shit that people complain about these I'm days. I'm starting to have Do fun. Do you watch the Kanye rally? I, no, I've heard about it. <laughs> no. Is it good? Yeah, Wasn't he wearing cool. a, a bulletproof vest? Was it, he yeah. wearing a vest? Yeah, he's wearing a vest. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Was it like, did he have insightful stuff to say? I mean, I just was like, it I, was I didn't South watch Carolina. it, but I just, it was I happening during media, the event. I put it on social media. It was just like a lot of like the, you know, um, influencers that I follow that are like, you know, black and like in the culture. They're just yeah. like, bro, this guy's a clown. Like this guy's a clown. Like shut this shit off. Like, like, no, of so he's like, they don't like him. him? No, nah, I mean, just like the things he said, like, we're like. You know, like Harriet Tubman, like didn't free the slaves. Like she, he actually, she actually, like yeah. I mean, she. I mean, he went like in this spot where people were just like, like at the thing, just like, like what are you disgusted? About, you know, bro? like yeah, like he said something, and people were like that were there were just like crickets, like just like uh, Homer, Homer. Simpson. yeah, just Homer, Homer Simpson in a bush. Homer Simpson, you could just feel the like the tension. Like I mean, some of the stuff he was saying, people were like, no, like it's it's kind of true. Like you know, you guys just got to like understand like. His concept, right? He doesn't say anything clear. He just says things in like just like talking. All, yeah, just, just like talking. all over. Yeah. So I don't know. You'd have to listen to it. You, you smell? No, I'm gonna. Oh. I just wanted to smell my buddy cuck. Your buddy. I think we should bro. do some new ones, bro. That is a, such a cuck smell, wasn't it? Yeah. Did we? You go with like pine. Did. We asked cuck what he wanted, and he was like, "No, I don't think we did. We didn't tell him. We just figured oh, like he's he musky. It was yeah. like yeah. it was musk. musk. Yeah. That probably smells like his deodorant. Smell it. Yeah. For the camera. Yeah. Let's go for the camera. Weird. Did we get it? Yeah. For sure you got it. <laughs> he only needs a second. Let's hang, hang it, yeah. Let's hang the cuck right here. So I like that sound it. going over. That was no, nice. It was like panties dropping? The weirdest part about that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sex panties? <laughs> the weirdest part oh, about that. <laughs> <laughs> if that's panties dropping, that's legit. <laughs> like elastic, right? <laughs> Come on, let's go. What do you think, guys? Oh, think? we need to take a we need to take a pause. Like we're at. <laughs> oh it. my <laughs> gosh, I gotta pee. <laughs> Drag me, will you? Please pump your biceps. All right, we're back. That's, <laughs> that's OnlyFans account. OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans. <laughs> slash Doug Miller Pro. I looked at. I, you see, I found the guy that owns yeah, OnlyFans. He's only got like a couple thousand. Fat take twenty percent of every creator. What's, uh, that? What's that dollar amount looking like? What do you Hella think dollar. of Greg Doucette in this cookbook? I don't really know anything about it. Cookbook? Yeah. We need, that? you need a cookbook. Open carry s sadly makes you more of a target. Yep. Bad guys will yeah. pick your own for, I mean, pick out first. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but pick on someone with a gun. Like, good luck. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that'd okay. The, that'd be the last guy I want to pick on. We're going, uh, there's a couple more in your uh, feed here. All right, let's go. This is a good question. I got a, I got a lot of, this Sunday questions, I got a lot. Um, if I need energy and endurance without a crash and sluggishness, which is better, pump or fury? Energy and endurance without a crash. Yeah. Well, there's no chance you could have a crash from pump. And but the no question is, do you energy. want some stint? Yeah, yeah, there's no energy in it. Really, no, there's not. No. I mean, you get endurance from the pump. Bro, I can't take the cucks smelling the cuck. <laughs> Bro, like, this is too much. The problem is, is that that image, it's like one of those paintings that is always staring at you. Like, anywhere you look. Yeah, no matter where you look, it's just like. He's always looking. It's weird. That fa that head like, is just gorgeous. People, like, hanging that Gold. off their, like, mirror were just, like, they were disturbed. Like, yeah. like Carl's, like, watching them drive. It's super great. It's such yeah, a I, pedophile. I took them. That was a great one. of my best pictures. It only lasts taking. about five minutes, the smell. It's already fading. Uh, okay, well, next week I can hang them back up. All right, good. Let's, all right, keep going. Or did I not answer the question? We haven't answered yet. So uh, if you need energy and endurance without a crash and sluggishness, which well, is you don't better, get a crash. Oh, how about this? Two scoops of pump, one scoop of fury. Boom. So next let's level. just say that fear, you're, the way fury is designed, you should not get a crash. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say fury. I would say one scoop of Fury, try it out. I mean, it's but an yeah, all-around pre-work. It's definitely going to give you energy. So, like, right. take one scoop of Fury, throw a scoop or two of a pump in there, and you'll be money. But the thing is that pump does provide that endurance. Yeah. Because it's got beta alanine it. and pico, too. Right. Both. So, you just stack them together, dude. You can't go wrong. Yeah. All right. How was your poop today? My poop today? Uh, Are you back on schedule? Thick and juice. Are you back on schedule post pre-workout? Yeah. You know, I was really happy. Usually, when I travel, I get a little messed up. I've been messed up. I, I was good. I had a good poop every morning because I took my greens. I packed my greens like a good boy, and Patrick <laughs> didn't. And I even offered him my I had greens. I that yesterday, man. And he know. turned it down. You didn't yeah. have greens yesterday? No. Dude, you even know what the problem is, and you're just not doing anything about it. 
Uh, yesterday, I just, yeah, you went just was messed up from the day yeah. before yeah. Of the whole weekend. All right. I think I got sun poisoning. It was hot. But you didn't even burn. You're good. Yeah, it's something. I had oh, to go down. I, to, I had to go to the tank top. Yeah, Steph's like, you look tan. I was like, that's because I was standing in a hundred degree sun all day. And she it felt like one twenty with that. I humidity. had Pat rubbing lotion on my back. I did good. rub some it lotion. Was on nice. Your back. I got what I could, and I couldn't reach certain spots. So Pat was got back there. He had good, good motion. Um. All right. Do you believe everyone has a purpose? Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> good talk. Good all talk. Right. Yeah. You still training one body part of workout? What's your current split? Uh, Tell I'm, them what we did on Friday. What did we do? We pulled an audible mid workout. Crazy audible. We were going to train. I, workout was I, hard. Was, I was scheduled to do back and arms, but we decided two exercises into back. So the third exercise, we're like, all right, let's deadlift. So I was like, well, I still got to train hammies this week. So I was like, I don't want to train hammies after doing deadlifts. So we pulled an audible, audible and we trained back and hamstrings and calves even. And then we did arms next morning because we would be tighter on time anyways. And it, it worked out great. Yeah. So that that's not my normal split. I, I'm doing combining. Well, actually, my split right now is back and arms and chest and shoulders alternating Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and then legs on Tuesday and Friday. What was wild was we did deadlifts, and then the next exercise was supersetting lying leg curls with – um Mag grip pull down. Mag grip pull downs. During oh. the pull downs, you know, you're locked in where your the hams are cramping. You're shaking. I yeah. was shaking. Well, you were shaking. Yeah, I was shaking. <sighs> I was hurting. That was it was good. Rough. And it was like hot. It was like, dude, I was, it was so hot. I was it was a cool gym. Iron House Gym. Shout out, Iron House Gym. It was good. And, I got uh, uh, four or five for 27 in the middle of the workout, not really planning to deadlift. I was super happy about yeah. that. And I didn't really deadlift at all during uh, for mu- much of COVID. I did 365 for 15. That's good. That was good. Yeah, yeah. You didn't give yourself enough credit there. But we did find that you're... I was uh, just trying you, not to You die. need to work on uh, your, your bad girls. So uh, I've thought that through more, and it's just that I was just not stable. Stable. I was just not ready for... Like, I didn't do... I haven't done hip circles or you anything. You didn't do like any mobile. We didn't, didn't no. mobilize at all. Yeah. Yeah, so I probably... Yeah, I, I need to continue to work on my abductors. But did you do four or five? I don't have that problem when I'm like You did four or five for 10 over here the other day. Like eight, I think. Six to eight. Eight. And you did 365 for 10 and then four or five for six eight. to eight. eight. Yeah. I did air squats for 10. <laughs> <laughs> you wore tights for that? I was like. You do your neon tights? Yeah, I'm just like. Yeah, Were you sore? Are you like sore? I'm sore, bro. Um, What's your best with four or five? Pre-knowing you had a back issue. I feel like 15? 12 or 12 to 15. Yeah. I think you can get there. Yeah, I can get there. Let's, let's go. Now, sumo. Uh, 405 for 40 is still going to happen. Huh? Was that squats? Squats, 405? Yeah, oh, I've, I've only done a 32. I think I can beat 32. I have never squatted 405 for reps. Ever? Like, not really. It was, dude. Yeah. You just did three sixty five for like on a Smith machine. Still, I mean, I can get there. I just that's a heavy Smith machine. Yeah, no, I mean, I could get there. I just never. I'm just making a statement. You don't need to squat have. to have big legs. No, I don't. You don't have to don't squat to have meaty thighs yet. All right, one more question in here. Okay, I got a piece soon, so we got to wrap this up. And Bird's gonna have a time editing. I binged all of a sudden. What do you do to get back? Very high calories. So any tips after heavy cheat meal while fat loss? Dude, just get back on it. You know, maybe go back to your macros, bro. Go back to your macros the next day and then just roll it out. Don't 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 think too hard about this. Don't all right, let's get into yours. That's the hard part. Because you immediately just want to cut cut back, you know. But just get right back on your normal macros. How do you get out of the mental funk where you lose motivation to do things? So Man, I gotta pee. I, I don't really get into a mental funk because it's We've talked about this before in this podcast. It's not necessarily about motivation. Like, I don't lose motivation, right? Like, everything that I do is really a discipline for, like, a long-term goal. So, for me, sorry, dude. Um, it uh, ended. It I, ended. I, I just, <laughs> hold on. I'll go back live. I've never done that before. We've never gone back live. But I was in the middle of answering this question. Man, I got to pee, dude. 
All right, so somebody was just asked, GP, you good? Yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> That's a big Did you poop out your pee? That was a big pee. Uh, somebody asked me, how do you keep going when you're getting a mental funk and, uh, and lose motivation? I was just saying, I don't, my life doesn't really revolve around motivation. It's about longer term disciplines. Um, and then when you have those longer term disciplines, you start seeing very consistent results in all aspects of your life. And that is kind of what perpetuates the motivation. So like, I really, uh, knock on wood, don't really get into like bad mental funks. So. But that's just me. I mean, I know other people are different, so. All right. Bro, we get back. We got we got three I minutes. Know, but man, I, I got I sales. I got I sales. Okay, well, let's, get, let's just, these people like. Let's just wrap it up and we'll get going. Do you want to have any, hit your questions since we had a lot of great questions on mine, so. All right, let's, real quick. Uh, <laughs> oh, geez. Which steroids are your favorite? <laughs> I think this person, I screened this. I screened this. I think this person uh, doesn't live in the U.S. Oh. I, I don't know if that like, makes sense. Like they were being serious. Yeah, like okay. he, like it might be a different over, you know, yeah. where he is. Um, Thomas Motes, our boy. Yeah. Who has the better shoe collection, you or Doug? You both brought your A game to the nutrition store event. That's true. We did get a lot of compliments. Yeah. Your, your game's better though. Yeah. You just. I have one pair of sneakers, maybe two. Bobby's game yeah. is the best. And those are like the sneakers like Pat bought you like a year ago. Are they? No, the no. only sneakers I have are the ones that Pat got me. <laughs> Man, I'm getting a whiff of cuck every, like, minute. Here we go. Oh, two questions. Let's go. Uh, what's your favorite salmon? Ooh, that's good. what's yeah. the go-to salmon for the boys? Oh, the, on the Wawa? I'm liking the honey turkey on Wawa. Dude, it is I good. was pissed about not having roast beef, though. You were? But how was the ham? The ham was smoking. Ham and turkey. It was good. It was smoking. Like mesquite? It was like, like yeah. that. Smoke. So he he roasted all his meat. I only roasted the Yeah, corn. so he toasted his bread. I toasted the whole thing. I like the cold meat. It was thick. They Those girls hooked Spicy it up. Italian cold. We need to leave a service. We were supposed to fill out that service. Yeah, that was your job. You, you kept the receipt. Huh? My job was to drive. All right, man, some good stuff in we here. Never, I've never done a, like, what do I eat every day? Somebody was asking, how do you stay so lean? What do you usually eat? Um, I've never done a, like, day in the life video of eating. You should. I should. I'm eating about... You should at least 3,200, between 32 and 3,300 calories a day. Right you should now. at least go back to like, uh, like or maybe just do a day of like posting. So to like each yeah, story, yeah, pre-workout, post-workout, meal uh -huh. one, meal two, meal three. Maybe dinner. I'll do that tomorrow. Do it on Taco Tuesday. Ooh, Taco Tuesday. Okay, okay. Yeah. I see you. I there see you. Go. All right. I see you shaking Real quick, a couple more. Yep. Which core product has gone through the most updates slash formula changes over time or during this or? Oh, Fury. From development Fury. to market? Yeah, it's probably on this round, Fury, the first one we did. I would say Fury overall, period. Yeah. Just because. It's because the pre-workout yeah. changes a lot. And yeah, a lot of them were, are so good as they are, they don't really need much changing. I'm going to message this guy directly. Was he um, asking for like private questions? In poor America on the West Coast, any word on growing the brand out here? So, yeah, we out there. Yeah, we over there. Um, any nutrition advice, early morning training, currently training at 6 a.m. to fit my family and work life? So what time are you waking up? If you have time to eat something, you know what? We trained on a scoop of core ISO and a grab the gold, grab like a little, what we call them hockey, the uh, hockey, hockey pucks. They're like these little, they're 11 protein, 25 carb, like six, seven fat. Four or five, yeah. But they're just like whole food based little hockey pucks. Yeah. And they're a nice little nibbler. So that, yeah. So and I had a great pump. Maybe it was from the tacos the night before, <laughs> yeah, but well. those tacos were so good. They were really good. Um, yeah, so like you could just do something like that. You know what would be perfect is two scoops of the new core MRP. We yep. have a deal going on our site. Check it out, corenutritionals.com. So I would say, yeah, take a lighter pre-workout meal. Drink or intra during. Yep. Yep. Or if you if you need your sleep and you have to wake up at like 5.30 and be in the gym at 6, take Fury and intra as you go to the gym, yep. as your pre-workout. And then maybe sip on a little bit more intra during your training. Yeah, maybe half scoop. Uh, yeah, half scoop. I like it. I like it. Good meat. Um. Okay. Shout out, uh, so Josh Gordon, we got to get some Josh Gordon in here. Shout yep. out Meat Brigade. What's the most underrated exercise in your opinion? You know what? Inner outer thigh. Bird dog. Oh, yeah. I, d I still do them every day. Underrated. Uh, inner outer thigh, because most men don't want to do that. And um, I think it's really helped complete my legs. You have such good inner meat. Yeah, it's because I've it's the only machine I've ever broken was the inner thigh machine oh. with 100 strapped on. I broke it at Gold's Gym. So what's our favorite sandwich? I told you. I, I'm I'm on the You're all turkey. I'm right now I'm on the the Wawa double meat turkey. I don't even do cheese. 
double meat turkey, spicy mustard, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, mild, sometimes jalap- uh, the jalapenos, 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 jalapenos. Um, uh, salt, pepper, oregano, yeah. toast the bun, not the meat. That's it. Simple. So I did, I did the turkey and ham. So if I'm going full dirty, though, oh, Italian, I Italian mayo sandwich with uh, oil olive oil, vinegar, and mayo. Cheese. That's three a different, 250 like, meat. Here we come. Dirty meats. All right, last question. Yep. Um, so what are you guys most excited for and anxious for about the move to North Carolina? Jet skis, go-karts, things like that. <laughs> Guns, ATVs. Just coming know, down. What else like, do you hey, do what's up, dudes? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all I got. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for just a change, too. Like, I'm excited for my kids and my family to, and even our employees to experience something new. Uh, it's also a little bit nerve wracking cause like, we really do like the community we live in now. Like we've, uh, bonded with a lot of our neighbors and we have a lot of good people that live around us, but like, I'm not worried that we will find our clan. Um, you know, when we get down there, um, I don't even like to use that word now, right? Like that has such a bad, you know what I mean? Your, your clan, yeah, yeah. your, your people, your oikos. Ooh, how do you like that for your click? No, you're ain't what? nobody <laughs> with my click, you know, bro. I'm trying to go like spiritual on you here. And you're, oh, I don't you're know. Going I'm, dirty. I'm, in, I'm in the zone. <laughs> Oikos. Not now, chief. I'm it's in a the Greek zone. word for like, like extended family. We take in church wherever we go. Bro. Yeah, we are. We are. We're to uh, crush it. Uh, community churches start starting. We actually do it every bingo. every Wednesday night with bingo. Yeah, yeah. Nonprofit. It will go to the feed the hungry. Um, sounds like a fun time. Bingo it, sounds fun. It does. Me. Um. What I'm anxious about is there's just a lot that needs to fall into place. I'm anxious about finding a house, to be honest with you. Like, there's certain things that I really want in a house, so I'm kind of looking at building. But what like, are you looking for? Like, what are your... I mean, must? just like little things, like the shower. Six with car garage. So this, perf- this house was almost perfect. The first one, not om- it was cl- very close. But the pantry was on the outside of the kitchen, and it was kind of small. But so th- it was like a small that thing. Wasn't, that wouldn't have been... I was just making a comment. That was the only thing I didn't like. It was it was sick, but like, if you did find a, you could put a pool in that place. Yeah, like it didn't have a pool, but it did have just enough spot to put a small pool, which is all you need. You're oh, on the lake bro. anyway. There was this one that was way off the lake. It was a lake property, but just up there. And Doug was thinking about you could zip, put a line. zip line. You got three acres. It was a sick house. It was brand new. It was like eight thousand square feet. It was massive, right? Like it was awesome. It was built in 2018, so everything was new, and. The backyard was a stone road down through the woods to your own dock with your boat slip. But, like, you could zip line from the top balcony. Like, and there's a, spa- uh, there's a space where you could totally That's put a pull in. Zip line from the top balcony down to your boat. Yow! The kids would be going crazy. <laughs> Bro, but, like, uh, you would need to have that shit professionally done. Yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah, need, you like, would need a net to like, need catch. Clip, yeah, you yeah. totally need nets. and Like, like Griffin also, would be like, huh, I wonder what happens if I just let go. <laughs> like... <laughs> You get yeah, it. Oh, early, yeah. early. You, you get into that, and you're you're probably spending thirty grand on the zip line, right? Like it's just something stupid, but it would be awesome. Uh, you could zip line from the top balcony into the pool, like drop, like yeah, it'd be sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's a lot, but the actual the physical move, like the amount of trucks we need to move this place, the amount of we're gonna have to hire temporary work. Uh, whether it's through like a temp agency or just we hire all our local peeps around here. Uh, to come help us like pack this stuff like it's and then to do the build out like there's so much this building like we're putting three times as much money into the build out as we are for the land and the building so that just tells you how much work is going into it yeah but I, i'm excited to be to literally build out we've always talked about building our castle right like this i'm excited to build exactly what we want so I feel like I haven't even thought all that. The party on that lake too, like every night. Every night. Every night. I at just Doug's house. Like, yeah, at Doug's house. Party every night in my house? No, at the lake. I mean, there's like a party like oh, every like yeah, 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 yeah. There's I'm like place. turn off that music. There's a spot. Time to go to sleep. Doug's a, yeah, Doug's coming down like. <laughs> turn on your- <laughs> There's oh, y'all, and my kids are having the party. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a spot at the ja- point where Jackson's like, in the hot tub yeah, always. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all the boats would just anchor down yeah. and then like circle around each other yeah. and just throw a party in the middle of the lake. Uh, somebody, Sam goes, so the gym owner, I heard about this, took off the door so that they couldn't change his locks. The guy in Jersey at, at Tillis gym. Oh, really? They were coming to change his locks again. And so he posted last night, I started following him that he was taking the locks off, the, taking the doors off the hinges, keeping the doors open 
and just sitting there so that they couldn't change the locks. And they did. That's awesome. That's awesome. This guy's great. I was actually even thinking, I was like, man, I'd like to go there and train. Just to support <laughs> the guy. Yeah, like, this is great. The, like, there's, uh, there's no reason why the gym should be closed. The one in Oceanside that's been on the news, too. He's uh, Louis Rydell. In Cali? Yeah. Oceanside. He's, he's, I think uh, Zoo Culture has been in the, in the news, too. He's running for mayor now. I don't know if it's a full joke or not, but, like, he's, like, made, made this thing where he's running for I mean, there's more people, like, anywhere else than, like, a gym. Like, there's not even, like, the gyms are kind of just, like, not even, I've been to the gym. It's and, like, like, listen, that. if you're at high risk of getting COVID, you're not going to, go to the gym. gym. Yeah, yeah. Don't go to the gym, but, like, give the people options. People probably don't even go to the gym anyways. Right. <laughs> well, it's actually a good point, yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Oh, my gosh, he is going. He's got a suit on with the dreads. <laughs> that's great. Good for him. Uh, all right, that's all the questions I got. Man. We good? Yeah, we, we were a long You guys think week. that okay. The Rock is going to run for president in 2024? Oh, wow. I, I'm throwing it out there. I think he's going to. Bro, shout out to Paul Callahan and Gabby. Oh, they got engaged. Shit, isn't it? Look at that. Real time Look update. At 14 Congratulations. Minutes ago. Congratulations, guys. It's about time, Paul. Bullfrog Nutrition owners getting married. Sweet. That's cute. That's a good way to Wait, end it. Wait, did she say yes? I just see the picture I'm proposing. She said yes. She's okay, put up with me long enough. We are engaged. <laughs> I don't think you're putting up a picture. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I said no. Uh, yeah, it didn't go exactly She's the way She's still I played, thinking but, about it. Yeah. yeah. But my hopes are high. Come on. It, come on. Like, yeah, everyone DM her and tell her yeah. she needs to say yes. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised in this day. So All right, guys. This was a jam-packed episode. This was a good one. Yeah. We're, and we got a screenshot with the cuck? A little oh, kissy poop? Um, let's, let's do a, a guest soon. I was actually talking Who to Who would the, you like, guys like to see as a guest? What if uh, the gym flow guys invited them here and did a podcast with them? Sure. I don't know. We started talking, and I was like, you guys are welcome to come we'll up anytime. Anybody on the they podcast, do, they do a honest. podcast, right? I think so. They so how are we going to turn this? Are we going to turn it like this way? We need to get couches. I want to get a rug. We got to get this. We got to get a little more homey. A little in zen. Here. A little zen, yeah. We got to get some more of these. Did we order another one of these? No. Oh. Did you need another Good. mic or headphone? I think we need two. How many, yeah. how many holes do we, can that we close? We have four. four. That's it? We only got four of these? There might be five. Is there five right there? There's four. I see four here. Oh, no. Headphones, four. There's four. What, head, what jack are you... I'm on, so, Bert, we're gonna have we're, we're gonna have to unjack you if we have two guys. Hold on. These yeah. are the headphones. So it's four four mics, four headphones. Yep. Plus, we could have like a Bluetooth like call in. Call in? Can we take calls? Can we take live calls? That'd be amazing. Yeah, I don't see one. I mean, we yeah, we're we're gonna guess it soon. All right, that's a wrap. All right, till next time. Keep crushing it. <laughs>